First, hello everyone, and thank you for watching my video. I'm Yogi's Electronics. Today I'm going to replace the battery in my multimeter, as the old one is almost empty. Are you ready? Then let's get started. As soon as I switch on the device, and switch on the lighting, the indicator shows me, that the battery is empty. So that I don't get an incorrect measurement, I change the battery. Replacing the battery in a multimeter is usually easy. And more or less the same process with all multimeters. Most multimeters in this category have the 9 volts battery. I always recommend buying the best and most powerful batteries. If you buy branded batteries, there is a risk of incorrect readings. With most multimeters, the battery is usually on the back. I have to lose the two screws, and then I can remove the cover. For example, I always buy Varda and Energizer batteries for my device. So far I am very satisfied with this batteries. And I can only recommend the batteries. Be careful when taping the battery. The connector is robust, but just be careful. And don't pull on the cables. You simply have to reconnect the new battery. And you don't have to be afraid, you can't go wrong. I'm going to do a quick test, to see if everything is okay, before I screw everything together. And, as you can see, the battery indicator is gone. I screw everything together, and then, we can test the device again, to make sure everything is okay. The device is working properly. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video, and see you soon.